I want to comment on Cardi B's post she posted on Instagram and she ended up deleting it. And the post where Cardi says that new drill music, Shake It, is activating demons she locked away. And she sounded quite tearful, but then another part of her voice sounded like she was acting. And I'm thinking that maybe this is some type of promotional act to promote her music. It's got to be a promotional act. Now, there's people that are saying that she sold her soul to the devil. Can you really sell your soul to the devil? There is nowhere in the Bible where it says that you can sell your soul. But when people say that you sold your soul to the devil, what they're saying is, you entered into a contract or a pact with the devil. You made a deal with the devil that if he gives you such and such or if he does such and such for you, you in turn will promise him your soul upon death. That's something you can't come back from. And I hear people saying that she need to turn to Christ. But if you made a pact, an agreement with the devil, then you now become a slave to the devil. You become his property. So there's no way that you can turn away from that. If you look back in time at people like Whitney Houston, and in the end, she tried to come back to the church. She tried singing in the choir, but yet her life was still cut short. Now, it would take an awful lot of spiritual energy for Cardi B to even repent, to even get to that part or that point where she can repent. It's more than just her wanting to be a mother and not wanting to do it anymore. Because apparently the devil kept his end of the bargain. So you can't just decide one day to change your mind. Especially if you have no conviction in Christ. But I'm going to let you listen to this audio. That's kind of why I didn't want to do this song, Shake It, or like any Joe songs, because it's like these songs are activating like these demons that I killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that girl anymore. Like, like I just, I just want to be a mother. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't want to be that old Cardi anymore. I left that lifestyle a long time ago, bro. Like, I just, I don't want to be that anymore. Like, and she's coming back. She's coming back, bro. Like, I feel like, I feel like getting a king. If you know about the kings, then you know. This should be a lesson to a lot of young people out there that feel that you can do stupid things while you're young. There's no excuse for older people, for adults, but yet young people coming up and they see these celebrities and they do stupid things for fame and fortune. Nori even talked about that door. The Bible even speak on a gate. No, it does not speak on you selling your soul, but yet if you make the conscious choice and use your free will to make a pact with the devil for stardom and riches and fame, be prepared to keep your end of the bargain even when you choose to change your mind. 
you will still be forced to keep your end of the bargain. Now, I want to make this perfectly clear. There's a difference between someone being possessed with the devil and someone making a pact with the devil. When you make a pact with the devil, you become in line with that demonic program, that demonic protocol. You become his slave and he becomes your God. But when you are possessed with the devil, according to the Bible, demons can be cast out. I'll repeat that. Demons can be cast out. You can be delivered if you are possessed with the devil. But if you make a pact with the devil, if you enter into a contract or an agreement with the devil, then you sold your soul. No, those words are not in the Bible. But yet, if you make a pact and agreement with the devil, he becomes your God. And you become his messenger, his angel. But I want to read a scripture to you. Take it from the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, reading the 13th and the 14th verse. And it reads as follow. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way. That leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in there. Now, broad and wide is big. That that's that's that gate or that road that everybody travels. You hear young people say things like, "Everybody's doing it. Everybody's going. Everybody is doing this. Everybody's doing that." That's that road or that gate that everybody's going through. It seems right, but the end thereof is death. The 14th verse reads, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. So that very narrow, that straight and narrow way, that very small path, very few people are able to even find that because there are so many distractions around them. There's so many temptations around them. There's so many influences around them. They're listening to too many voices telling them what to do to the point where they can't even hear the inner man within themselves. They can't hear the spirit of God when the most high whispers to you and gives you direction. You can't hear it because your mind is so clouded with everything else going on around you. You're listening to too many voices, taking too many directions from too many people and too many spirits. And you start dabbling and tampering to the unseen arts until you find your way on the road of no return. So Cardi B now is at a point where Whitney Houston have reached and many others have traveled. They have left this life early in untimely death. It was timely for them because they made an agreement. They made a pact with an unseen force that they had no idea what they were entering into. Somewhere in their mind, they may have thought they knew. Their carnal mind, the only thing they could see is wealth and fame. And they made a deal with an unseen force. And they took that deal they got their wealth, they got their riches, they got their fame, they got their millions of viewers and followers and fans, and then they realize 
that it's really not all that. Because once you've traveled just about anywhere you wanted to go, and after you do just about everything you want to do, you own just about every vehicle, all type of jewelry and clothes, what else is there to do? And that's when that hunger and thirst after what is right now begin to start brewing within your soul. But because of the fact that you are in too deep, you are demonically in too deep, it is very difficult for you to even conjure up enough strength, enough spiritual energy to repent or even call out to the Most High. Because now your soul is bound. And the only way Cardi B is able to get out of this deal, which you can't, is death. Because whenever those demons speak to you, whenever they call you, you are obligated to answer. See, so maybe Cardi B's time is almost up and she's aware that it, her time is almost up. If this is not some type of publicity stunt to get people to listen to her music, if this is not some type of advertisement that Cardi B is doing, then her now wanting to get out, not only did she put that energy out there, she let people know that she, in a way, is being torment. That is torment within itself because she wants to be good, as she say. She wants to be a mother. So again, maybe somewhere in her heart of hearts, she knows that her life is almost at its ending. Her contract, her agreement, her pact that she made with that unseen force is at its end. She's aware of that. So don't be surprised if we hear of a plane crash. Don't be surprised if we hear of Cardi B losing her mind. Because we can see people like Wendy Williams. Look at the condition that she's in. Look at the condition of so many so-called celebrities that are quickly leaving this earth. People that we believe that have made packs or deals or entered into contract with the devil with an unseen force that may have come in the form of another human being. See, demons have to occupy a body to be able to function on this plane. They cannot be inanimate objects to function in this plane. They have to be able to possess a body they need a body to be able to function on this plane of existence. So when you enter into a contract with the devil in the form of a music industry or an actor career like Hollywood or what have you, that person, that human being or what appears to be a human being may have the spirit of the devil. And keep in mind, Lucifer was a beautiful angel in heaven. One of God's most precious creations. But yet, the Bible says, or Yeshua says, that he beheld Satan like lightning as he was kicked out because he exalted himself above the throne of God. And he wanted to be like God. 
And we hear so many so-called black Americans now claiming to be God. So many black females claiming to be God. That's a dangerous path that you're taking. So when it comes to Cardi B, if this is not some type of publicity stunt, this acting thing, because in a way it sounds like she's acting and just trying to promote her music. But then if she's if she's genuine about this, if she's serious about this, then maybe she needs to talk to someone that have that knowledge. And she mentioned in the end about what sound like she said a king. She need to get a king. I'm not sure what she meant by that. I have an idea, but I'm not sure what she meant by that. Which makes me wonder. So feedback. Tell me what you think. What do you think about Cardi B and that recording or that post that she put on Instagram and she deleted What are your thoughts on that? Do you think she sold her soul? And do you think that maybe her time is about to expire? And when her time expires, it doesn't necessarily mean that she may die. It could just mean that she could end up becoming incapacitated mentally, where she's not even able to take care of herself. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.